Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, the 25th of October. And I wanted to hop on here real fast and show you the bags that's going to be in the shop tomorrow. I'm doing a shop update Monday, October 26th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I think that's 10 a.m. Pacific. And it'd be what? 1 p.m. Eastern? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. You'll have to figure it out on your own. <laughs> but uh, point is, it's 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I'm going to be putting in some bags. I can't remember the numbers right now. But there's at least one of all these. Pretty sure there's two of these ones. These are large box bottomed zipper bags with a handle. So you can carry it either holding the handle or with it on your wrist. And there are zippers. <laughs> but this one, there's holiday prints and then there's also some regular ones. But this is like a Christmassy or winter, I guess. Christmassy winter. <laughs> Cats. So there's there's two of those. There's going to be one of these in this update. I do have more of these bags. I just ran out of batting, so they'll be in the next update. So there'll be one of uh, these snowmen. Same box bottom, all that stuff. All the same. And then there's, I think, two of these uh, Christmas dogs. <laughs> and then there's only one of these in this update. There'll be another two, I think, in the next update. This is like a winter scene with trees and deer, and it is glittery. I don't know if you can tell that, but, and again, it's not the kind that comes off. It's the kind of glitter that's stuck on there good. Uh, they are quilted also. I don't think I mentioned that, <laughs> but they're quilted, and uh, it's like a winter deer scene. And then there are three of uh, chickens. <laughs> it's boxed bottom chickens. There's two of this print. It's like a winter scene with uh, chickadees and berries. <laughs> uh, are those cut? Yeah, those are chickadees. <laughs> and then there's, uh, I think, two of this print. It's another Christmas print. A bunch of Christmassy stuff. Then there'll be two of this print, which is Cardinals, with, and it's got like music sheets in the background. Pretty Cardinals. And then there's two, I think, of this one. Really cute vintage looking, uh, like Christmas shopping. People out Christmas shopping. Oh, that was so cute. And then there's three of this print. It is a farm print. Super cute. There are three of this print. Y'all have seen this one. Ugh, I almost hit myself in the face. <laughs> now I remember for Christmas print. Uh, there are also three of this print. Uh, peanuts. Which I've just learned from watching somebody. Who's a family vlogger. That Apple bought the rights to the Peanuts franchise. So now um, they're not going to be playing it on TV anymore, which is weird. You have, to, If you want to watch it, you have to either own the DVD or the digital download. Or you have to watch it through Apple TV, which is crazy. Because, you know, it's usually they play all the peanut shows, you know, for Christmas and Thanksgiving and the pumpkin one and all that. Usually, like, on Channel 2 or whatever. And uh, I guess they won't be doing that anymore. Peanuts. And then the last one, I think there's two of this print. And it's Christmas gnomes slash gonks. Depending on what you call them. Super cute. But, yeah, so there's a lot of Christmas prints because it's that time of year. <laughs> and some regular ones. And some of these will also be in the next shop update because I didn't have enough batting. The next shop update will be probably the first week of November. I'm trying to wait till after the third because I know a lot of people don't get paid until the first or third of the month. And, um, you know, I'm trying to let some, everybody get bags. But the next update will be the large quilted totes with the big handles. There'll be some of those. There'll be some of these zipper bags like the ones I just showed you. And there'll also be a bunch of notion pouches. I don't think you throw my washer. I have them already cut and everything stacked up. I'm probably going to start sewing them tomorrow. <laughs> but um, I think I have 35 zipper notion pouches cut already. And then um, there's going to be 11 of these bags in the next update. This same shape and everything. And then I think I'm going to cut out 
I, I planned 15 of the large totes with the long, long handles, but I might do more, I might do less, I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. <laughs> I look pretty crazy in my hair. I just kind of threw it in a ponytail when I was cooking earlier and I haven't made it look nice, <laughs> but that's okay. But uh, I wanted to hop on here and let you guys know about the bags going in the shop tomorrow morning, well, noon <laughs> for me. It is uh, Monday, October 26th, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, which I think is 10 a.m. Pacific time, and then it would be uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. I think. <laughs> I always get confused about the time zones, but um, yeah, they'll be up in the shop and uh, ready to go. And uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. <laughs> I uh, haven't been doing much today. I did sew a lot today. I guess I'll make this up in October too. Since it scares me, I gotta reach back here in this bag crinkly but my sister asked me forever ago to make her some okay tmi alert if, if you're a very sensitive person even though i'm pretty sure mostly i know some men watch me but it's mostly women um and we all have periods at one point in our life unless we have a medical condition that keeps us from doing that it's about periods <laughs> but anyways my sister bought me the materials and asked me to make her some pads um she wanted reusable ones because first of all it's cheaper uh in the long haul and also, it's better for the environment to not be throwing away pads and tampons and all that. Okay, I'm back. I had to go help Jesse. <laughs> Anyways, she bought me the materials to make her some pads. And uh, she bought me this thing. I already put it up, but I showed it in another video clip. <laughs> That's going to be in my No Catch Your Name episode. But anyways, I'm giving these to her today is why I um, filmed the clip earlier. But I just made some. They're not perfect because I'm not a pad maker. I am a bag maker. <laughs> and uh, the gray ones look worse than the pink ones because I did the gray ones first and then I had a better hang of it by the time I got to the pink ones. But um, so they're just pads with snaps on them. So they fold up and snap to, you know, be stored in like a basket. And then um, when you put them in your underwear, you would just fold the snaps the other way and then they snap onto your underwear <laughs> like that but uh i've been mean, she had made this stuff months and months ago i think in spring but then the world went crazy and then my life went crazy and it's just been on the back burner but today i popped out 14 of them so i thought that was pretty good i made her seven gray and seven pink ones and i used up all the material that she gave me um to make them so now she's got a stack of gray ones, seven gray and seven pink. I gotta fold that one back up, right there. <laughs> so I got those are seven finished objects. <laughs> but um, I was surprised I got them all done today, but I was, I had my laptop over here and I was listening to Unsolved Mysteries. They put some new ones on Netflix and I love anything that's true crime. <laughs> Pretty much watched everything too. It's hard to find something I haven't watched. So I was watching that and sewing and just made them all rough i think about three hours of sewing and cutting because i had to cut them all out today by hand <laughs> with scissors because you know it's weird shaped i couldn't use my uh, my rotor rotary cutter but yeah so i made these today i'm gonna give them to her tonight because she's supposed to her and her husband are gonna come get me and jesse and take us to a trunk or treat uh a drive through one since Devin's at work but yeah so i thought it was pretty cool i'm probably gonna make me some too because i've always wanted some reusable ones one because um the kind of bad store, you know, the disposable ones, they really irritate my skin. <laughs> so I thought that uh, fabric ones would be softer on me. I don't know. But I'm going to try them out and see what I like and uh, go from there, you know. All I can do is try them out and see what happens. But so I do have the machine thingy that makes the snaps and a bunch of the snaps in a ton of different colors. And she told me I could use them. So I'm going to be using them on bags maybe <laughs> i got a i have a few little ideas for other types of bags but you know i can't work on everything all at once and now that i'm done with these finally i'm going to start making some christmas ornaments because i want to make some for my family i like making ornaments every year normally they're crochet but this year i wanted to do sewn ones and also thought it'd be fun to make some and put in the shop because i thought some other people might want to buy some homemade christmas ornaments but uh I got, i've been saving all my christmas fabric the last forever <laughs> all the scraps and people sent me some and um I even bought some at their store, like a bag of Christmas scraps, because um, I knew I was going to use it to make ornaments. So they just, they don't have to be big pieces just to make ornaments. But yeah, uh, whenever I make one of those, I will show them to you guys too. And I'm excited. I think I did pretty good on things. I'm pretty proud of them. 
I know it's a sensitive topic. Some people are like scared to talk about it, even though like I, every woman has experienced it and every man who's ever loved a woman <laughs> has experienced it unless there's medical conditions keeping it from happening. But um, I don't know why some people are so sensitive to talk about menstruation and sex and stuff because it's all normal and everybody experiences it at some point in their life but anyways i'm one of those really open people like jesse knows the actual names for body parts and he doesn't call them weird names um because i mean he's gotta learn it eventually might as well learn it now he knows where he came from he knows how he was born and all that so yeah but anyways that's a totally different subject i don't know why i'm talking about that now but i'm gonna put these back in their bag so i can remember to give them to her today because it's, what time is it now? It's 1.30, so I think that thing starts at 4, so it'll be just a little while before I get to give them to her. I already sent her pictures, but I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to hear her feedback on them. I hope they work good, and, um, because if, if she doesn't like these ones, I can just try a different pattern. This is a pattern she got, and then, I can't remember if she bought it or if it was free, but, um, and then she bought the materials and all that for it, so. I don't know, I'll just wait and get her feedback and see where it goes. But uh, if I can remember which pattern, because I printed it out. I have it cut out somewhere. Uh, the, the pattern, what is it called? Template <laughs> for these. I will link it below if I can remember what website it's from. In case anyone's interested in checking it out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because i got to get the listings. I already got all the photos taken of the bags. Now I need to make the listings and get them ready to go up tomorrow. And uh, get this up. <laughs> And then I gotta start uh, getting me and Jesse ready to leave. And then when we come home, I gotta figure out dinner. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm just making burgers. Um, we have some veggie burgers in our freezer, and those are quick. You know, you just fry them up real quick. And uh, nuggets for Jesse. I guess what we'll do. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.